Would you like to know how the world's top stage actors became the best at their profession? Join me as we uncover and explain the top tips they learned and continuously used to stay highly sought after on both stage and screen. First up, we have the brilliant Ivana Chubuk. She says, Acting requires faith. You just have to believe that you are the person you're playing and that what is happening is happening to you. Think of acting like stepping into a virtual reality game. When you put on the VR headset, the game world becomes your reality. If you only half believe in what you see, the experience feels flat and unconvincing. But when you fully immerse yourself, believing that every sight, sound and event is real, your reactions become genuine and the experience feels vivid and intense. In acting, your character's world is like that VR game. If you approach it with doubt or hesitation, your performance will feel artificial like you're just going through the motions. But if you fully commit, truly believing that you are this person and what's happening in the scene is real, your reactions will be authentic and your performance will come to life. So when you step onto the stage or in front of the camera, imagine you're putting on that VR headset. Let go of your doubts and fully believe in the reality of your character's world. The more you believe, the more your audience will believe. And that's when your acting truly shines. Wasn't that great? Next, Constance Wu leads with an important quote about emotional preparation. You build those emotional memories, and then you eventually have a mountain of them, and you ski down the mountain, and you let the slope take you where it wants to take you. You can't pre-plan, you can't be like, I'm going to think of this memory I created at this point, because then the performance becomes static. But you can build it, so it's in your bones, and it speaks through you. It is in the script, you just have to find it. Think of it this way. Imagine you're learning to play a musical instrument. At first, you practice scales and chords, building up muscle memory. If you practice enough, eventually you won't have to think about where to place your fingers. They will just move naturally to the chords when you play the instrument. Now, if you're performing a piece and consciously plan every note and chord, your playing will feel mechanical and stiff. But if you let the music flow through you, trusting in the hours of practice you've put in, your performance becomes fluid, expressive and alive. Acting is similar. You spend time building up your emotional chords and scales. These are your memories, feelings and experiences. When you're on stage or in front of the camera, you don't need to force yourself to recall a specific memory at a particular time. Instead, you trust that your emotional preparation will guide you. Just as the music flows through a musician, the emotions flow through you, allowing your performance to be dynamic and true to the moment. So don't overthink it. Prepare deeply. But when it's time to perform, let go and allow the emotions to guide you naturally, just like skiing down a mountain where the path isn't pre-planned, but your experience and instincts lead you effortlessly down that slope. And now on to Meryl Streep, one of the greatest actors of our time, who shares this wisdom with us. I think the most liberating thing I did early on was to free myself from any concern with my looks as they pertain to my work. Now, imagine you're an artist painting a picture. If you spend all your time worrying about whether your hands are getting messy or if you're wearing the right clothes, you'll never be able to fully focus on creating the artwork. But if you let go of those concerns and just dive into the process, embracing the mess and the imperfections, you'll create something truly expressive and powerful. In acting, your canvas is your character. If you're constantly worried about how you look, whether your hair is perfect or if you're appearing attractive, you'll hold back and your performance will feel superficial. But if you free yourself from those concerns and throw yourself fully into the character, you'll discover a new level of creativity and authenticity. The audience isn't there to see you. They are there to see the character you're bringing to life. By letting go of the concerns about your appearance, you instantly become calmer, and this will allow the character to shine through. So just like the artist who gets lost in their work, let yourself get lost in your character. That's where the real magic happens. I just love Meryl Streep. Now, a timeless reminder from the greatest playwright of all time, William Shakespeare. Our doubts are traitors, and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. For this quote, imagine you're standing at the edge of a pool, contemplating whether to dive in. The water looks inviting, but your mind starts to fill with doubts. What if the water is too cold? What if I don't swim well? These doubts can paralyze you, keeping you on the edge of the pool and preventing you from experiencing the joy of swimming. In acting, these doubts are like that fear of jumping into the pool. 
they whisper in your ear, telling you that you might fail or that you're not good enough. But if you listen to them, you'll never take the leap. You'll never push yourself to try that challenging role or to take that creative risk. The sad thing is, it's those doubts that hold you back from the amazing things you could achieve. Just like the refreshing swim you miss out on if you don't jump in, you might miss out on a breakthrough performance or a new level of confidence that secures your next role. So when you feel those doubts creeping in, remember that they are the traitors. They're not there to protect you, but to hold you back, to stop you from achieving. Push past them, take the leap, and trust that you're capable of more than you realize. The greatest rewards are often sitting on the other side of your fears, patiently waiting for you to find them. Typical Shakespeare. So much depth in just a few lines. Not unlike this brilliant living in the moment quote from Sarah Silverman. If you live in the past, that's depression. And if you live in the future, that's anxiety. So you have no choice but to live in the present. Now, close your eyes and imagine you're walking on a tightrope. If you keep looking back at where you've been, you'll lose your balance and risk falling off. If you keep looking too far ahead, worrying about the next steps, you'll also wobble and lose your focus. The only way to safely and confidently walk across is to stay centred, being in the moment and focusing on the steps you're taking right now. In acting, the tightrope represents your performance. If you get stuck thinking about the past mistakes or missed opportunities, it can pull you down into a state of depression, making it hard to move forward. If you're overly concerned about the future, how the audience will react or what might go wrong, you'll be plagued by anxiety, which will disrupt your performance. Therefore, the key to a confident and powerful performance is by staying in the present. Concentrate on what your character is experiencing in the moment. Respond naturally to what's happening around you and trust that by being fully in the present, you'll deliver your best work. Just like the tightrope, maintaining your focus on the now is what keeps you balanced and effective. Now onto something equally important, creating an authentic character. Malcolm Jamal Warner breaks it down for us. My approach is to look at the character's world. Often we get so locked into memorizing lines and practicing how we're going to say those lines, when in reality, the lines are just a symbol or representation of the person. I spend a lot of time getting into the character's life. Every character has a point of view, so what informs this character's point of view? Now think of it this way. You have been tasked with painting a portrait that will be seen by hundreds of people. If you only focus on the surface details, like the shape of the nose or the colour of the eyes, you might create a picture that looks accurate, but it will lack depth and emotion. To form a true connection to the picture, you must be able to understand and empathise with the person behind the face. So ask questions similar to the following to help form a connection. What life experiences shape this person? What are their passions, fears and dreams? Are they an introvert or an extrovert? This deeper understanding allows you to bring out the essence of the person in your painting. In acting, the lines you memorise are like the surface details of that portrait. If you focus solely on how to say those lines, your performance might be technically correct, but it could feel hollow. To truly bring a character to life, you need to dig deeper. Ask yourself, what has this character been through? What are their motivations, their fears and their desires? How do these experiences shape the way they see the world? By exploring the character's world, imagining their life beyond what's written in the script, you can infuse the lines with meaning and deliver them in a way that feels authentic and real. Just like a portrait that captures the soul of a person, your performance will capture the essence of the character, making it much more impactful and believable. And now, Michael Shirtliff makes a powerful point as he reminds us of the power of listening. Listening is not merely hearing. Listening is reacting. Listening is being affected by what you hear. Listening is active. Imagine you're playing a game of catch. If you just stand there letting the ball hit your glove without really paying any attention, you're technically catching it, but you're not truly engaged in the game. However, if you actively focus on the ball, react to its speed and direction and adjust your stance, you're fully participating, making the game lively and interactive. In acting, listening is like being in that game of catch. If you're only hearing the words your scene partner says without really reacting, you're not fully engaged in the scene. It's like letting the ball hit your glove without putting any effort into catching it. 
But if you actively listen, really taking in what's being said, letting it affect you emotionally and responding naturally, you're participating in a dynamic exchange. Hearing the words and just responding is the biggest mistake made by actors. Just like in an unrehearsed conversation, your words should carry emotion and meaning. Anything less and the audience will see you and not the character. Then all pretense will be lost. If you enjoyed this content, please press the subscribe button and check out Theatre Unwrapped for more community theatre videos.